just you know get to it okay all right okay, uh all right we're live so welcome everybody to the live stream of 032 conversations this podcast is sponsored by bix recovery supplement after a long bicycle ride that's usually not the end of my day and i'm still a husband a dad and i've got work to do so recovery is important to me so after a long bicycle ride, I take Bix Recovery Supplement as part of my recovery routine. Uh, you can order yours at instagram.com slash focusrecoveryph. Thank you, Bix Recovery Supplement via Focus Recovery PH for sponsoring the podcast. And one other thing, over the years, 032 Conversations has had over 100 plus interviews. So I've been blessed to be able to talk to so many interesting people you can check out the interviews in the archives of 032.com and in this episode we talked to sven mccoy schmidt by i don't know how to pronounce your name yeah correct <laughs> schmidt <laughs> yeah schmidt nice and then he's a daily live game streamer from the philippines and he's also a videographer at Hive Creative. Do 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 people know your gaming channel more as Nevs by? Yeah. People in my gaming channel know me as Nevs. Yeah. Do, do do people like in in like in real life, what do people call you? Sven or Nevs? Oh, uh, in real life it's actually Sven or my nickname Bano. <laughs> people know oh, me really? as Bano here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the really close ones know me as Bano. <laughs> Ah, so how have you been, bye? Ah, pretty good, man. I mean, uh, this 2020 has been quite turbulent. Like, if you told me at the start of 2020 I'd be a live streamer, I would never believe you. So <laughs> that's a newfound hobby I found this year. So yeah. Yeah, you know, so I. So before we get to that, I want to make sure we talk about Kanang Hive Creative a little bit, no? But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, by like so they were, were friends on Facebook, and then you know, like, like people post stuff all the time, and yeah, I remember you just posted like Kanang kind of live stream ni mong a game, yeah. I think it was like Road to was it what was it hundred followers or hundred wins? Yeah, or Road to hundred wins, I think. Yeah, Road to one hundred wins, and then you know me, I'm not really a gamer. I mean, I do like games especially before i used to do like a lot of like quick so kind mm -hmm. of similar genre but you know now it's just totally it looks totally different like it's yeah. really incredible now and so i'm like oh cool 100 wins and then, and then you know you see you break that milestone and then eventually it feels like the next time i looked it was like top 20 in the philippines yeah, I want to make sure we talk about that. But mm -hmm. first, let's kind of let's. I want to like. I want to make sure also we mentioned like Hive Creative. So, uh, I think I officially met you when you were doing Hive Creative, the right? Like we had this like bike event, and you guys were shooting yeah. the video. The ride for polio. Yeah, man, the video was was dope, by right? Like nice. Yeah. I mean, I I, I was telling the guys come work. Oh, you know, it pays to be friends with the. Uh, Videographers, the video ato. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun, man. But it was really tiring, but really re rewarding as well. And I got places to see that, yeah, I wasn't been yet in Cebu. Oh uh, yeah, because of that whole trip. That we yeah, like Cebu, the part in where was it? Was it Tabogon? That part? Yeah, I haven't been through there yet. Ah, uh, Tabogon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because usually you go through Sogo, Borbon, and somewhere to the mountains, then to Bogo. So you don't usually go through Tabogon. That was my first yeah. time there too, bae. Mm -hmm. Tabogon. Yeah, so like, how is it for you guys? Like, Kanang, I know that like you guys were doing a lot of like events, covering events, taking videos for events, and now it's that's just not happening, or is it? Or is mm. there, is... No, no, it's really not happening, right? at the moment so yeah it's been quite a struggle for actually all of us because yeah we don't have really an income at the moment so we try to keep ourselves busy with our backlog so we're trying to finish those and yeah uh for my part i've been trying to find like online jobs on upwork so i found some clients so 
just to get me through this couple of months since yeah every everything is still not working right now so we're just waiting for everything to get back to where it is so we can start shooting again yeah but yeah because as, prior to the pandemic you guys were really busy right like yeah yeah super like every every week almost yeah shoot there shoot here and then we have to deal with our editing as well so yeah we were quite busy and now it's just mellowed down so we're trying to work on the past stuff so we can submit them and yeah waiting for new stuff to come in hopefully yeah okay i think also <laughs> testament to you guys because you know it was you guys were busy busy did good work you know <laughs> thank like, you it was nice <laughs> like uh and mm -hmm. Mona, that's and one of the reasons why I want I was curious about you is that so like like a lot of people I'm sure that was your main thing and you know for for no no fault on you is that it's just that it's not happening right now and then you you mentioned like you're looking at upwork and uh, but also you started doing this uh, streaming thing am I right? Is that like, yeah, yeah. so good to lockdown or the pandemic, diba? Right? Yeah, cause uh, what happened was, uh, simply during those times where we were shooting all the time, I was editing, so I simply hadn't time for games. I was just working, working, and then in my pastime, I would go out playing football so I can clear my head. So yeah, that was like my hobby, which I can't do it as of now as well because of the pandemic and i also had a knee injury last last year or last last year yeah so that's a taboo for me right now as well so yeah uh where were we um so streaming. yeah the streaming so i started playing games during march i think yeah i started then because i had a lot of free time right now so just got into games again and there was this particular game which really intrigued me which was Call of Duty Warzone so uh, I was watching this streamer Thind and I really enjoyed watching him and oh this game looks really nice so I tried it out myself and I really got hooked until now and yeah and I started streaming because yeah I just thought it would be fun to try it out like at the beginning, people did laugh or made fun of me. Like, what? What are you doing? You, you stream? <laughs> or yeah, Nebs gaming? What is this? <laughs> and they were laughing. At I just kept on going, and as long as I had fun, I was good with that. So yeah. No, so you just started the game pag March, like this year. Yeah, yeah, because it's actually a new game, Pasad. Uh, I think. The game was released uh, November, December, if I'm not not mistaken. And when I got into it, it was already at season two or season three. Yeah. Mm, how does that work? By like, what are the seasons? Is that like uh, every half a year? There's a new season. Is that it? Uh, I think they their season runs like every two months or one to two months. Yeah. So before, but you used to play games before, like among those first-person shooter games. Uh, I wasn't really into F uh, first-person shooters games before. I was more into MMOs and uh, how do you call them? The Dota one. Uh, I the, I forgot the genre they're called. Ah, MOBA, the MOBAs. Yeah. So I've been playing Dota for the past ten years, I guess, and I just stopped playing when I was third year college. Yeah, I stopped playing third year college because I because I was in college yeah, and I had a pretty hard course which was computer engineering and I just couldn't uh, afford to play as much as I wanted to because it the course was really hard. I still played from time to time and there were times where I would come back, get addicted again, but I, eventually I would Stop again. Yeah, I, I, I'm curious, Bay. Okay? So, you mentioned already, like you know, when you had all these other things going, you basically didn't have time to 
to play uh, games, right? And in fact, mm-hmm. that's what happened to me. So like when I grew up, I was like one of the first guys, like one of one of the first of my friends who had a computer. You mm-hmm. know, so people used to go to my house and we'd play <laughs> on the computer, <laughs> and then you know, like, they just look over my shoulder while I'm just playing. And then yeah, it, at some point, it just I just kind of realized when I went to college, nang work shit, right? I don't think I can pass college if I continue yeah. gaming, mom. <laughs> so it because it literally is like a distraction for other things. Yeah. No? But now, with the streaming, because back then, wala man to, no? Mm-hmm. But now with the streaming, it's actually like, uh, it really seems like it is a way for you to, there's some, there's some forward movement, but it doesn't seem like you're just wasting time anymore. Like, mm-hmm. you're, yeah. you're getting your name out there, you're meeting all of these other people, and sometimes there are certain opportunities that are open from it. Is that mm-hmm. is that what you've been have you been experiencing something like that or yeah it's yeah definitely so back in third year college when I uh stopped play or not really but yeah I uh mellowed down on my playing uh I actually got the chance to work with the Minsky events team back then so my job was to do the tournaments here in Cebu so we had Dota tournaments, StarCraft, uh, what else? We had some FPS games, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I was the one in charge to do to do those tournaments. So I would set up the PCs, I uh, would do the bracketing and everything, and I w- would just send the photos and the winners to the team in Manila so they could post that on their website. Uh, but that, but that. How about now? Like, kanang now that you are, kanang streaming regularly, and mm-hmm. it's like, uh, I'm just curious, kay, you know, like people watch the stream, mm-hmm. right? Like, I've, yeah. Like, so one of the things that I'm curious about is like, what do you get out of it? And then the next thing I want to know is like, why do people watch, kanang streams? streams? Like, yeah. I, I, I. I <laughs> I, I kind of get it, but I also don't, you know, like, mm-hmm. um, so I used to, so, so yeah, let's go to the first question. So, so like, what, what, what do you get out of the, I mean, I know Mungo, that there is some uh, sense of like kind of fulfillment from sharing mm-hmm. what it is you do to other people. Mm-hmm. Right? No. So I'm curious from your end, what is it that you kind of, what, what kind of fulfillment you get out of it or what do you get out of the streaming? Uh, for me, for me, it's just uh, I enjoy playing, and I also like to share to people. I enjoy people watching me, interacting with me, and on top of that, I can actually earn money from it because uh, people are actually sending their money as in ways of donations or like Facebook does through stars. So. I can actually earn money from just playing computer games and interacting with people, which is also fun. I get to know I get to know uh, new people, and uh, I'm able to play with like people I never thought I would have uh, could have played with or meet those people. So it's pretty amazing that you get the chance through this through streaming. Yeah. Yeah, I was like looking at. Uh one of your streams and then like there was this uh so like i'm not in this world no mm-hmm. so i'm pardon the the questions or or it's anyway because it might seem very naive but like there was this, yeah. this, this one one girl she she was uh i'm i'm blanking now on her name but anyway she was she was on your stream also mm-hmm. i was like so many so i just researched her and then i went to her facebook page i had like seven million oh okay uh, yeah lights um yeah. Alodia, Alodia. Alodia, Alodia. Yeah, Alodia. Like, oh wow, who's this? You know, for this is a this like somebody like her, I guess, like who's she's been doing it. I I have no Mm -hmm. idea. I have no idea. I have not I know nothing about her, but like Mm -hmm. she must be a big deal in that niche, no? Yeah. She's like (laughs) she she's like the gaming queen. In the 
Philippines. I think she's the biggest streamer in the Philippines. I I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but yeah, she's very famous. She started with cosplay and then played games and got into streaming as well. So yeah, it's a pretty big deal for me to play with Alodia because she's one of the biggest figures in the Philippines. And through her, I also got to play with her boyfriend, Will, Will Dasovich, which I also met, which I also happened to meet in Boracay a couple of years ago. So that's a pretty amazing experience that... uh, the persons I used to look up to, I are now my friends, or I can play with them on uh, on occasional basis. So it's pretty amazing what this streaming did for me. That's cool, by let's like kind of like if you played basketball, ba, and then you mm-hmm. showed up one day and you're like, hey, let's play, and you're like some random PBA players. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean that that's the that's the amazing part of the internet because you get to connect with people from all over the world or people you didn't expect you could connect with because of the internet. Because siempre, let's say, uh, PBA players like. You need to be a certain level or you had need to have a certain skill to be able to be play with them or need to have the certain connections. So with streaming there there are really no boundaries. You can just play with anybody you want to. Yeah, but you've earned it though. Like I mean I assume like they play with you because you know you're at a certain skill level or you, yeah. have, a, you have an audience and that. Yeah, that might be. Uh, it really depends because there are also people who are not really that good, but they bring that certain entertainment to their streams. Mm. So it's really just uh, what what you bring to the table, I guess. Yeah. So some people watch you because you're good at the game or also, also other people watch you because of the entertainment that you bring or the co- because of the content you create and some are also a, a mix of both mm. so that's like that's how that's so people watch the streamers it's like it's like their form of entertainment you know like, yeah uh, so they do, do these people play the game do they also uh, play the game and that's why they also like what people watching them play, like how we would watch, let's say, NBA basketball. For yeah, example. a lot of them do, but there's also a lot who don't because it's actually amazing that there are a lot of women who watch those streams, like with, with who don't even play. They're just there to watch the stream and enjoy. Uh, I have a lot of female uh, viewers that are just watching the stream while working. Really? Yeah, they they just uh, watch the stream while working and interact with me. So they probably don't get bur- bored at work as well, but they don't actually play the game. They just enjoy watching the stream, interacting with me, and laugh at the funny moments. <laughs> like there's just it's just there in the background, like anang, I assume no, like they're working and then it's just there, like on the peripheral, the screen. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Because I do the same when I work w- when I work like. Uh, I have a double monitor setup. So on the other stream, there's just a stream of my friend, and uh, work work on something on my main screen. And yeah, I'll just listen to the stream and occasionally glance over to what's happening. Yeah, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, I I discovered for me that like when I got when I saw the first time I saw people like. That I that I realized it was a thing was a few years ago. Kanang I downloaded Hearthstone. You know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So card I downloaded game. Hearthstone, that card game. So I used to play Magic: The Gathering. Mm-hmm. And, and then the Kaiko was just playing, and then I realized on YouTube there was a bunch of people who would post their games. So I'd watching as watching it on YouTube. Then it dawned on me, I'm like, oh, they're streaming it, man. The I. Mm-hmm. Live and I'm just watching like a highlight reel or something, and, uh, mm-hmm. and then at some point I noticed that I was watching the streams more than I was playing, <laughs> uh, yeah. and 
I, I, it seems like and you get the same sense of satisfaction from watching somebody else do it as com- you see the same satisfaction in watching mm-hmm. somebody else do it compared to you actually playing it yourself. Mm-hmm. And in many cases, the one that you're watching is so much better than you, Pagyud. Yeah. <laughs> so you feel like you're pretty good, but you're really, you're really not. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah. Uh, I get the satisfaction as well from watching other, other streamers because sometimes they, their content is really fun or they're just really good at the game that it's really, it's really satisfying to watch how they play and maybe learn a thing of, or two from them and then maybe apply it to your own game. Oh yeah, for sure, no. Yeah. I'm trying to I I'm trying to figure out like in my head but we're going what are you you're just what are you watching? You're just playing a game. And yeah, but then in my head mm-hmm. like you know what? It's like that in basketball, it's like that in mm-hmm. soccer or football. You know, somebody has a move and then you know, you're just trying it over and over again. Yeah, and it's it, just it's just Yeah, it's just a game. It's just uh, like anything you would uh, love, it could be a hobby like taking photos. It's just something you uh, like to learn or get better at. Yeah, and then and then it seems like if you do this, like the streaming. So you mentioned already, like there's some sort of monetization, right? So mm-hmm. how does it work? I don't understand it. Is this all under the Facebook um, ecosystem? Yeah, it's all through the uh, Facebook. Uh, there's also other streaming platforms like YouTube, Twitch. Uh, there's this other one I forgot the name of. But yeah, it's all under their own systems. I'm not sure how fa- uh, YouTube and Twitch works, but how it works in Facebook is once you get into the level up program, which is not really hard to get, you just need... Um, was what was it 100 followers and need to stream at least four hours in a week you can join that level up program and then people can start sending you stars and uh the equivalent of this stars is 100 stars is one dollars i think one dollar so if somebody sends you 100 stars you get one dollar and once you reach 10,000 stars, you can actually get a payout from those 10,000 stars. You get a payout. But there's also other ways of earning money on Facebook, which is through monetization or ads. But you need to reach a certain level for that to happen. I think it's 10,000 followers. So you can get Facebook ads. And that's like, zero point zero zero one dollars per ad or zero point zero one dollars if i'm not mistaken Uh, very Mm -hmm. small (laughs) yeah it's it's very small but if you accumulate all those viewers and how many ads there will be running on your stream of per hour so yeah it can still accumulate really quick especially if you're one of those big streamers and there's also the third one, which is where Facebook itself will give you a, man- a monthly salary. What? But yeah, like Facebook itself will give you a monthly salary. So the way to get to that is and here in the Philippines, there are two companies uh, which are connected to Facebook right now. So it's tier one, which is managed by... Uh, the likes of Mama Lodia. So she's part of tier one. And the other one is Royal Rumble. So if uh, if you're that big of a streamer and you get the stats which they seem necessary and they discover you, uh, tier one or Royal Rumble will get you and they will sign you with Facebook so you get a monthly salary. That's what I heard from my friend because he's under that program, since I'm not part of that program yet. Wait, so wait, wait. So they partnered with Facebook, and then... Yeah. But they're the ones who pay the salary. The money comes from them, or it comes from Facebook? The money comes from Facebook, yeah. Really? It just Yeah, it just goes... Uh, Facebook partnered with Tier 1 and Royal Rumble, so they're the 
responsible to find the talent. Mm. And I think they get a cut, of course, the, those companies from the pay, uh, from the salary they give to the streamers. But they're responsible to find those streamers and partner them up with Facebook so they can get a monthly salary. Oh, yeah, well, no, that's, uh, mm -hmm. in a way, I mean, I, it's, it, I, I am, it's amazing if you think, <laughs> <I mean, Yeah. laughs> no, but, uh, how does the star system work? Let's say I wanted to give you a star. Do I have to mm -hmm. buy a star? Yeah, you have to buy them through Facebook. So when you go to a stream, there's this like star icon beside the like and hearts and those other reactions so you can click on that and there you'll be see there you'll be able to see those uh stars how many you have and how much it costs to buy those stars they're actually quite expensive like from my calculations if you buy 20 dollars of stars you actually only get 12 12 dollars value of it so actually <laughs> facebook is making Quite some money from that. Mm, so they make about forty-five percent, probably yeah. something like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, for real. But what, what, what I'm curious about. So, do people do it? Do people give stars away? Is that a yeah. normal thing? Like all yeah, the time. People, yeah, quite some. Uh, it's amazing how generous people are, and they all, always send you stars. Like, as long as you entertain them or yeah talk to them and yeah i'm not sure <laughs> I, i'm not even sure why people are sending me stars like yeah i just try to make them happy as well on my end so that their money isn't wasted on me yeah and there are also other ways like donating through paypal so that's also a way mm. no but uh, what i'm curious about is so like it seems like this gaming culture, the streaming culture, is that people really donate, and you can't really find that it's not as common in other niches. Let's say music, mm -hmm. like in music, I mean, you know, if people try to get away with not paying for music, it gets <laughs> it's different. But yeah, I yeah. Wonder, I wonder what it is about the 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 streaming industry or the gaming industry uh, people are willing to to donate to to you know to streamers and then and we're not even talking about like kanang, like super huge streamers like mm -hmm. of course they get of course they get donations but even even small time streamers, streamers yeah. yeah they get donations also i i, I wonder what it is I think it's just a form of showing their support that are like Shempre, not all streamers are that well off or they might need a new uh, video card or so. So sometimes they set like a star goal for this month so they can buy a, buy a new video card. So people who are watching the stream, they send their money so they can support the streamer. Or also, uh, like those big time streamers, like Shempre, the comment the comment box is super flooded, so they try to get noticed by sending stars. Cause yeah, that's their money. So of course, you really have to appreciate those people who are sending you stars. Ah, uh, so wait, there, there's a comment box, and then it gets so flooded, so you just. You can't really read everything and on. Yeah, okay, like what? for a really big for really big big time streamers, that's the case. So if you want to get noticed, you might have to send stars so they really can read your message. Ah, that's interesting. So like if you send mm -hmm. a star, where it kind of like highlights that donation and the message, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Message yeah. that comes with it. Yeah. Ah, so like so what is the typical practice? So when somebody sends out a message, okay, you're playing, and then you're also mm -hmm. talking at the same time, and then I notice you're like, you know, you're responding to people that I can't hear, right? Mm -hmm. like, and, uh, 
you know, I guess there's questions or, or I don't yeah. know, comments and that. So you're just reading it. There's like a chat box somewhere in your screen. Yeah. Yeah. So how I work is on my main screen, I have my game on. Then I have my secondary monitor where I have my uh, Streamlabs, which is my streaming software. And there I can read my comments and see whoever liked the stream, whoever sent stars, donations. So I just read it on that monitor while I'm playing. Oh, yeah, well, no. well speaking of, let's say, comments, so somebody asked the question. Mm -hmm. um, is internet speed reliability in the Philippines a limitation in game streaming? What's your experience? Yeah, super. Like, I've been it, been streaming like for five or six months right now, and in those six months, I already had three major outages, so I couldn't play or stream for more than four days. So that was a pretty big bummer for me. And it always takes super long for those telcos to fix the stuff or the internet lines. So during those days, you can't, especially during COVID right now, you can't do much. You can't go out, you can't uh, watch movies. So I, I've been just trying to keep myself busy with exercise or just using my data to watch stuff. But yeah. That's a little more, a little bit more costly, but yeah, it, it's not only for me. Like almost everybody in the Philippines are complaining about their internet rela reliability and also the speed. So it's a really big limitation for us. And then there's like a kind of the game streaming, but is that like a big? It has to be. There has to be like this industry already of people, kind of you know, who do it all the time, right? And and which is despite the despite the limited reliability of the internet here in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean it's, it's it's amazing for me how big the industry already is, especially now during COVID, since everybody is at home, there are so many new streamers, including me. Mm. Which uh, which are just keep um which are just kept on popping out. So yeah, it's keep it's keeping on growing. Yep. Yeah, how often do you play? Do you have like a schedule? Uh, before I didn't have one, but now I'm more consistent. Now I play every one in the afternoon until four or five. After that, I'll do some exercise, go jogging outside and lift some weights or do some soccer practice and then i'll be back on maybe 8 p.m or 9 p.m and play until midnight yeah that's pretty much my schedule right now it's like a work day yeah it's like a work day <laughs> <laughs> even my streaming hours are already like a work day like i sometimes play eight hours or more but at least it's something i enjoy Oh yeah. So it's so when you started, can I, I guess when you started it wasn't that serious. You were like, oh okay, there's a lot like I have friends who play games and yeah, you know, mm -hmm. they decide yeah. to stream. But then you know, mm -hmm. they streamed it once, twice, mana, mm -hmm. they're done. No? Yeah. So Ikaw, it's obviously you kept streaming, you kept going. Is that like do you think that's what you did to can um, get a following, get more people to follow the stream. You just stayed really consistent. Is that like one of the secrets? Yeah, you have to be consistent. And I think the hardest part is like how to stand out from all those streamers. Why should those viewers come back to you? Mm. Why would they watch the stream again? So yeah, you have to check. You have to check that checkbox. So so you can build a following so for me it was just improving my skill on the game and also entertaining the viewers and interact with them so i really try as much as i can to talk with my viewers and entertain their questions or i even have a followers day which where i play with my followers so yeah that's 
how does that work? Like, kanang, you just put like a, you just put like a, a call. Yeah, you know, work. Okay, go to this link. And yeah, whoever shows up, then we get to play. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So we have, I have my Discord server, and whoever gets in there first, I'm gonna play with them. Before I also did like a reservation style, like just message me when you want to play with me on which Friday. That worked with, that worked as well. But now I'm just more chill and yeah. Whoever comes first into my room, let, let's play. So I that's guess happened. A, I guess you have enough people following Amura. It's pretty reliable. Now once you put that link open, yeah, and in. yeah, and. Even if there's nobody joining, I'll, or if I'm lacking people, I'll just add some of my friends, which I'm already playing with. So, yeah. Mm. So, Kada, you mentioned, like, how do streamers uh, stand out, no? Mm-hmm. And so I suppose, like, not all the streamers are necessarily good at the game. Mm-hmm. No? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, like, so... So, for example, like somebody, because I, okay, I'm making an assumption. My assumption is you are good at the game. <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. what are you like, right? I don't know. What was the last thing? I think I saw you post like top 17 in the Philippines or something. Yeah, top 17 in the Philippines and wins. Yeah. In wins. So, yeah. So, I've been really grinding the past six months. So, I've been playing more or less. Six hours, eight hours every day just to climb the ladder. Because, of course, it's also part of your marketing. Like, oh, this guy is top 17 in the Philippines. I uh, want to watch this guy. Let's see if I can learn a thing or two from him. So yeah, it's also part of marketing for me that I climbed up that ladder on the leaderboard. Yeah, Marek, that's that's your differentiating factor, Konohai. Yeah. So that's what it's any. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Correct. So like, yeah. So when, when people are like the ones who are not good at the game, what are they doing? Uh they're watching because they oh no, you mean the the streamers yeah, who are yeah. not good at the game? Okay, okay. Uh uh I know some streamers who are just really fun to watch, like they have nice cons- conversations, or there was this streamer who who incorporated his streaming and gaming with uh, his drum playing skills. So he plays the drums. So while he's not in the game, he just plays the drums. So I found it quite entertaining as well. So that made him really unique. And yeah, I just watched him for his drum skills. What do you mean like not in the game? So like when you die, like you don't, you don't. uh, Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Could be when he's dead or just in the lobby waiting for the game. So he would be just playing the drums. And he has a really, really nice setup. Yeah. He has name? a really nice setup. Do you remember uh, I, f- I forgot. Yeah. But whenever I see his stream, it pretty stands out for me. What's about that? Like, so he has his computer there and yeah, like the drums is right next to it. Yeah. So when yeah. he's dead, just turns around. Yeah. Just starts playing. Yeah. Or when he's just in the lobby. While waiting for the game, he just plays the drums and he's pretty good at it as well. <laughs> and he has this really nice setup with neon lights and everything. So it's quite amazing to watch. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. I, mean, I guess some people like kanang sheer kanang personality. Lang yun. Like, my lang yun yeah. Story yeah. Na. Yeah. Super. Like, they're pretty fun to watch. Uh, they would make people laugh all the time or even they're cursing the time. It's just fun to watch. Like, there's this. Streamer uh, from Cebu as well, Alok. He's good at the game, but he he's really good at entertaining people. Like he dances on the stream, or <laughs> yeah, it's it's just fun to watch him in general. So that's why he's growing really fast. I wonder what that's about. No, like kanang, like kanang, I mentioned like before nga, you know, my friends used to go over and yeah, you know, basically watch over my shoulder as I play. Mm-hmm. And then the streaming is basically that. Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like correct. a thousand fold because now you're not it's not just your friends, like it's you know, anybody who decides to drop into your stream and then they're basically doing the same thing. 
no? Mm-hmm. Watching over your shoulder. And I wonder what that's uh there has yeah, I wonder what that's about. Like wonder why that's really appealing to a lot of people. No. I think I for me it's just like watching a movie lang sad. Or like when I'm washing the dishes, like I can do something while washing the dishes and just watching somebody stream playing the game. So it's also a past it's also a, ta- a form of passing time. Or when sometimes when I'm in bed, I'm just listening to the stream and fall asleep. <laughs> mm. Feel like for you, bae. So it started out nga kanang not so serious. Like, you know, you were just having fun. Mm-hmm. And I suppose you saw some momentum. Like, hey, people are actually watching. And mm-hmm. then you just decided Correct. to to keep going, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but but you know, there are what what are you doing uh that kind of solidified the seriousness towards it. I'm like, oh, I think I'm gonna put more time here. Like, like, and I like, so I guess that Follower Friday or Fan Friday. What was it? The mm-hmm. one that you, Followers like, Friday. Yeah. Follower Friday is like one, yeah. one initiative. What else mm-hmm. are you doing? Uh, you know, more ah, okay, more the kind of mangata now. So I may as well do these other things also to see where this goes. Hmm. So one thing that I'm doing now is I'll take every Sunday off to make like highlight videos or funny videos because I ask my viewers like, hey, do you want me to make more highlight videos or funny videos? And they all said yes, because they really enjoyed those videos. Like the most recent one was where I happened to be in the same lobby with Elodie and I happened to kill her. Mm-hmm. And right after that, I got executed by another guy. <laughs> and then I was watching Elodie's stream and her reaction was really funny. Like, oh, who's shooting me? Like, oh, it's Nebs. And <laughs> she made this really funny expression. Like, oh, Nebs, it's yeah, Nebs. Yeah, yeah, it's super, <laughs> it's, it was super funny. and. Then after that, I got executed by some other guy. And then people told her, oh, Nebs got executed. And she said, oh, that served him well or something like that. Yeah, uh, in that sense. <laughs> uh, joke where, do you, where do you put the videos? Uh, on Facebook. Yeah, just put it on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel as well. Because I run a YouTube channel as well. I think you should, yeah, can I buy the YouTube camera? So like going back to when I was looking at uh, w- watching Hearthstone videos, pa, mm-hmm. that's that's essentially what I was watching, like game highlights. Mm-hmm. And if you don't play the game, you don't get it at all. Like anang, yeah. the, the title of the video will be like 20 damage in turn three or something. Or, mm-hmm. You know, like, ba? and mm-hmm. you don't get it if you're not playing the game. But I'm sure there's versions of that for... What's the name of the game that you guys play? Kanang Call of Call, Call of Duty. Warzone. Yeah, there must be versions of that, right? Like, ah, oh yeah, like I saw one where, uh, I don't know, you, but like you parachute in, yeah, somebody got shot while parachuting. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. But like, so kanang, I guess if you post stuff like that, and then that's the title, like I don't know, like these things that these things that happen in the game that are mm-hmm. super rare. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're watching a YouTube video and you like the game, you'll be like, hey, I want to watch that. Mm-hmm. You know? Kind of like NBA highlights, probably. Yeah, correct, correct, yeah. You know? uh, so you've been doing that, you've been posting it. Yeah, so I've been doing more of those because I found quite some success on those. Like, It's been really getting good feedback in the past videos I made, so my viewers want to see more of those as well. So I'm taking off every Sunday from streaming to do more of those at the moment. Oh, and then the the interesting thing with like let's say YouTube is you know you can monetize. Mm-hmm. Uh, Correct. Yeah, and it's a lot easier to monetize the YouTube than the Facebook. Video. Yeah, the Facebook. Correct. Yeah, correct. You just have yeah, to be I, careful with the music on YouTube. Ah, uh, yeah, or you but, don't get yeah. monetized, but it's still there. Yeah. No, or the and then I think it pays better. Then Facebook, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. 
I think so. It's just so super hard growing on YouTube right now because uh, everybody's on Facebook and nobody really wants, like, if I post something on YouTube, I put the link up in my Facebook. So nobody really wants to go through the hassle to go to the YouTube app to see that video. So that's the benefit of uh, uploading videos or streaming on Facebook as well, since they're already there, just scrolling down their news feed and just see maybe your live stream or your video right there so they can just play it right away. Bro, so, well, I- I've, been, I've been doing some YouTube stuff, right? And mm-hmm. in, in a way, very similar to you, by a pagsugod sa lockdown, what am I going to do with my time? Not doing mm-hmm. anything. <laughs> no? So, <laughs> I just say, like, oh, maybe I'll learn how to shoot video and edit. Like, it's nowhere near as nice as what you guys do, no? Like, <laughs> I do not have the proficiency of you, of uh, of 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 you. You actually know what you're doing. I'm just <laughs> making YouTube videos. <laughs> but I do notice that, kanang, if you are consistent and you just put like, kanang, you know, like, you know, put good videos that goes without saying, right? And mm-hmm. you have like. A title that people want to click on, yeah, the right thumbnail, mm-hmm. and uh, and okay, I've been able to I've been able to grow like a little audience over time just putting it there, and mm-hmm. I notice like the people who watch the videos, very small percentage of it comes from outside YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know? It's just all within YouTube, so like it's all that it's 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 within YouTube's ecosystem so people who are already in youtube and who already want to watch no and i think it's in through it's through their algorithm no yeah so i don't know i've been i've been pretty i've been pretty bullish on uh youtube okay it's just it's uh i don't know like um yeah i'm I'm pretty bullish on youtube okay if you just put it there you already have the content mm-hmm. you already make it you can just put it there and then you don't have to do much, ba. You just yeah. put it there. If it grows, it, it grows great. If it doesn't, yeah. What was it? Then you know, it was a few minutes of your processing power to upload it. To <laughs> <the future>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I've been I've been curious good about YouTube. Okay. But yeah, I, good. for me as well, I want to grow my YouTube channel, but like through my streaming as well. Because I, because I not oh. only do uh, streaming, I wanna show people my other work as well, like the travel videos I do or my vlogs. So I wanna show that to other people as well. So I'm trying to grow that as well moving forward. So I'm oh, using yeah. m- m- my gaming page to promote that as well. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, your gaming and your and your travel, it's two different pages, right? Yeah. So yeah, I have I one think- on Facebook set. But yeah, I, th- I think it works that way. Like if you're on YouTube, where it it doesn't, where it it, where YouTube will 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 rather in the beginning at least that you focus on a certain niche. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. It can't be like well, you post whatever lang ba. Yeah. So in my on my Facebook, I have two separate pages, but on YouTube, uh, I have it all on the same account. I just put different playlists for it, like. Uh, travel films, uh, freelance work, then tutorials, and I have this other one which was this uh, this gaming stuff already. So at least mm-hmm. it's it looks nice and it's separated. So when you go to my YouTube page, you can see it's uh, separated very nicely and looks clean. Yeah. No, but I think if you do the YouTube button, you do the if you let's say you, you want to do the gaming button. I think you mm-hmm. just make one of your gaming. And yeah, then that's all you post kind of gaming. No? The the thing once you start doing like the travel and stuff, Murag Murag. Okay. I mean, if you look at the ones that do well, they're like personalities, you know, like they're mm-hmm. almost artistas, basically. And yeah. Yeah. I, of that I, is- I kind of wanna like be those. I want to fall into that category, to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. like Will, like he does, uh, yeah. he does vlogs, but he can also do travel films or like other stuff. So it's like a var- variety content which you see on his 
YouTube channel, like something like that. So I want to build my channel something in in that way. Mm. Yeah, but I think a lot of that is, I mean, of course, they work really hard. They, mm -hmm. they take really good yeah. video. Uh, and, uh, no. But there's a big chunk of it. Nga, it's just luck also. No? Yeah, you like, have to... Uh, you have to meet the right people, like like I did right now mm. for streaming. Because if I hadn't meet met those people, I would never have gotten the chance to play with Alodia, Will, Eli Gaming, or the like. So, if I had met those people, I'd probably even be just still below one thousand followers or something like that. So it's really about luck and meeting the right people as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a, uh, and then of course you know that goes without saying that you know you have you're putting in the work. There's, mm -hmm. it's you're you're basically, you know, working twice as hard, right now. Like you have an eight hour day, on your mm -hmm. streaming, and then you have uh, whatever else left of your time doing other work, and then whatever else there that's left is your leisure sleeping time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you <know>? exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm curious good about YouTube. Like, what's, what's interesting to me about YouTube is not are not the people who've gotten huge. Like, I like, mm -hmm. um, I like like Casey Neistat, for example. Yeah, and uh, like him, he he said you'd nga, he said you'd nga, if he started from zero right now doing the same stuff that he's doing, mm -hmm. it. It wouldn't stand out as much because now that's what everybody does. Like yeah, doing a vlog, correct. Uh, di ba? Like vlog and nindot ang nindot ang the filming. Like he's a professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because when he started, the vlogs were like kanang regular people, but they were not filmmakers. So mm -hmm. you had like twenty-minute videos of kanang talking heads. Uh, you know, just walking around and And then when Casey mm -hmm. Neistat did it, they're like, it was like really nice. So it looked super different, <laughs> like four or five yeah. minutes of just super different, really nice videos. And yeah, he said now that's the norm. Yeah. And if you do it now, you're not really standing out. So he was saying uh, he he kind of just got lucky that he started doing it when he did, no? Mm -hmm. What what's interesting to me are what about the people who get, you know. 5, 10, 20,000 views on a video, but mm -hmm. somehow are still able to make a living out of it. No? Because that seems more achievable than, than the than, likes um, of Casey. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 I mean, I'm not, I don't, uh, like Will Dasovich, for example. Mm -hmm. like, kanang, uh, I haven't seen his videos, but I assume, like, it's kind of similar. Probably posts a video and gets. I don't know, half a million views, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I'm kind of curious about the middle class of YouTube, for example. Mm -hmm. Like the unknown personalities, those who are not cel celebrities or something like that, I guess. Yeah, no, but not celebrities, but still a lot of people watch them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like they can post a video about nothing and they'll get 20,000 views. And that's still. Mm -hmm. 20,000 people, you know? Yeah. Um, if we, like, we comp we're comparing to, like, Casey Neistat, who gets a million. So, you know, that's a million. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a big number, but, you know, you put 20,000 people in a room, that's a lot of people. No, and I wonder if there's a version of that for gaming also, nga, kanang, not, not the super stars, but mm -hmm. I wonder if there's, like, a working class version of that people who are just able to to do what they love in this case maybe play video games and can just do it all day and then make a decent living from it no would you know uh, i think uh right now it depends i guess hmm, not sure you have because the industry is quite new now and i think you still need uh, quite the amount of a, of a following to make it like a living at the moment. 
doesn't need to be like in the millions area, but uh, definitely some in the maybe twenty thousand, fifty thousand, or something like that. It depends. It all it's all about the stats. You can have you can have a million followers, but if nobody's watching you, you can you can't make a living out out of it. So it all depends on the on the stats. That's what Facebook all. That's what Facebook's all caring about. The stats. Uh, you need so, people to watch good. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Correct. So, mm -hmm. like I mentioned, those uh, streamers who earn a monthly paycheck from Facebook, they have a required like uh, amount of watched hours every month. Like, nasi like quota. They have a quota mm -hmm. every month, so they need those watched hours every month, or they're out of the program. They won't get their monthly paycheck anymore so they have no. to reach that code every month yeah do you know what, but, the, what the goal is or is it differ for yeah, it, yeah it, it, it's different for every streamer because not every streamer gets the same money as well so mm -hmm. yeah big time streamers definitely need a higher amount of uh watch stars but also get a higher paycheck but from what I heard, uh, I think the minimum Facebook's giving, uh, once you're a partner, like they give you a monthly paycheck, it's one thousand dollars. So in the Philippines, that's already pretty good. That's pretty good in the Philippines. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like you can live off of that already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's uh, that is one of the advantages of living in the Philippines. Like, if you find yeah. a way to somehow make dollar equivalents. Yeah, it's like yeah. You know, once you know, if you're living in the U.S., <laughs> you know you're not you're not making much. But once yeah. you're here, like in Cebu, ana bye, where na, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> super. You're not you're not worrying about dinner anytime soon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty thousand is a lot. Yeah, Could they, yeah. Could to play video games, right? Yeah, super. <laughs> mm. So what's your what's your plan like moving forward? You're just while this whole pandemic is still around, this this is what you're gonna do. Yeah, uh, my plan right now is grow my uh, Facebook page more, uh, get more viewers, uh, create more content that people want to watch. Uh, maybe try other games as well aside from Warzone, since people have also been. Uh, requesting me with that or experiment with other titles so I can get viewers who watch other games as well. So I'm just going to try experiment and move forward with that. But to be honest, once this whole pandemic dies down, I'm not even sure in what direction I should go. Should I go back with my videography or should I do streaming? Should I do both? So. That's still a big question mark for me. But yeah, right now I'm just trying to focus on what I have on hand right now, which is my streaming and I'm enjoying it anyway. So yeah, that's the plan for right now. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, kanang, this pandemic has given them, in a way, an excuse to kind of do the thing, the other thing, you know? Like, yeah. That they wanted to do but they weren't able to do because they were busy exactly before, yeah right and it's it's stretched out this whole pandemic and it's still stretching out it's stretched out yeah. long enough uh, <laughs> you know that huh like can you're you can give it a real try mm -hmm. like a real try like what how, how long has it been has it been six months yeah six months yeah and then imagine if you still had Imagine if you were still uh, really busy with the, uh, with the, uh, kanang the videography and the photography, and and then you were doing this at the same time, no? Nah, it, I, it I would not it work. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> yeah, never. Yeah. I would never. I would never have gotten the chance to try this out if it weren't for the pandemic. So, it's kind of a blessing this in disguise, but yeah still a bad thing at the same time so yeah but yeah, it, no no for sure yeah, I, yeah. I get it okay six i mean it gave you an opportunity and we're, and it's still giving you this opportunity by the way mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not, because it's not done 
Yeah, it's and, not you know, going six, away. <laughs> yeah, six months is a long time. Yeah. And it kanang is I'm I'm I am in I am in many ways kanang in the same boat kanang like I kada like like you know just tried out YouTube, started making cycling videos mm -hmm. and and I I don't know if I would have had the endurance to keep making it if it weren't for this kanang big block of time that yeah. kind of just showed up, you know? Yeah, correct. And yeah, so that's why I thought it'd be interesting you to, you know, talk to talk to you specifically also mm -hmm. because you know you didn't sit down and just complain about life, man. You you're like, all right, this is these are the cards that I have, mm -hmm. and then what am I gonna do about it? What can I do? Mm -hmm. And kind of you just executed in a way, right? Yeah, like at the end of last year, I just. Uh, stop i quit my job and i thought yeah 2020 is gonna be my big breakout year in videography because i can solely focus on that right now i can edit so much stuff i can uh upload so much content then bang corona happened shit yeah. what am i <laughs> what am i gonna do now <laughs> that happened so yeah i just uh kept myself occupied for the meantime with editing stuff but once i ran out of that i had to find something to do because uh usually i'm not the person who just like sits around watch movies or do nothing all day i, I always need to do something i want to be productive so yeah i found i found out playing games and then found out about streaming and i actually enjoyed it and yeah uh just made little goals like okay i'm gonna grow my page uh to this by that time and just kept on growing so it came became like a little job for me to just keep growing my stream so yeah yeah bye no i hear you you know mm -hmm. so, yeah that mona that's uh i just hope like people listen to this and like hey you know you can it's not that hard like you just buckle down especially with the time that uh you are given of course you know uh fortunately like you didn't have the pressure of kanang there's some people who have outside pressures also and no mm -hmm. but bye uh, i am uh, happy for you and uh <laughs> you know kind of glad i was able to talk we've been talking for over an hour now <laughs> and uh that was a pretty fast hour <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah man yeah, so you're not streaming today. Oh, I'll be I'll be streaming probably in the evening. Yeah, I already told my viewers I'm not gonna streaming. I'm not gonna stream this afternoon, but I'll be back later in the evening. Yeah, so they won't expect me to stream this afternoon and wait for nothing. Can <laughs> uh, like when you say you tell your viewers where did you, like when you say that you just post it on Facebook or where does that go the Discord? Yeah. Or? I yeah, it always goes on on the Facebook. I also just created my Facebook group and like have this little group of really loyal followers, and I can post uh post like other stuff which I don't post on my uh on my Facebook page, like the little things like uh some fan content other people made, uh, which I can just put put up there. Hi, you got like fan content? Like what? Like what happened? Like what? Like they, <laughs> <I'm so curious. laughs> like they, they made like a edit of my picture, like with Naps Gaming, or they made like logos for the page, or uh, like just my profile picture, but it's how it's called, like animated. So it's quite fun to see those as well, like. That is cool, right? Yeah, like that people really take their time to do those for me and post it or send it to me. It's really, it's really dope. I'm really happy that people are so dedicated or, yeah, they just love watching the stream. It reminds me of um, Kanang Conan O'Brien. Kanang, like, he'll get all sorts of stuff from fans. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a Conan fan, so I just remember watching him and you know, people would send him stuff and he would occasionally show it on the show. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, we're, that's that's cool. Like this gaming fandom is really different. I really feel like it's like it's very heightened. Kanang, I came from like music, my good. Your music mm-hmm. is kanang bro. Like like unless you were really big, it was mostly pa cool cool. Like you know, mm-hmm. it was really <laughs> like there wasn't really a fandom. No, mm-hmm. yeah. With the gaming, it's it's really different. It's very interesting to me. I think it's really fun as well because there's like no like no how you call it. Basta it's more intimate because you can just talk to your followers and yana bitaw. It's more it's more easier to connect with your followers or with your viewers than like you would be say a sportsman or a musician. I think it's much easier to talk to your fans in that sense. Wait, yeah, because you are talking to them. Because yeah. You, it, you really are talking to them. Yeah. Right. And, it's, and it's much easier to interact with them that way as well. No, yeah, no. Now I'm kind of, I'm, it's kind of like, I'm kind of seeing it now, but yeah, it is because you are really, like every time you, you do the thing that you are known for doing, mm. you are like literally connecting to them in a sense because they write a comment and you know you you say you react to their comment so like mm-hmm. like in in it doesn't happen in the same way as streaming but like for example now I'm talking to you and there are comments on the side but my focus is you the guest mm-hmm. so I, I try because I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to lose that connection with you Diba? Because mm-hmm. I'm trying to have a conversation. So as much as possible, I try not to look at the comments. But when you're yeah. gaming, I mean, of course, you're playing the game and you're focused yeah. on the game. Right? But the comments is a huge part of that focus also, I guess. Yeah, no? super. Because you really want to respond to the people so you can instantly build that connection with your viewer. So they have a reason to come back for you. Like, oh, this guy is pretty nice. He talks to me. like. Some people are just coming to the stream because uh, they might want to have a conversation or ask some questions or, yeah, just like that. That is interesting. That is interesting. What do they ask you? I'm just curious. Like, before we end. <laughs> you get like... Yeah, it could be anything, actually. It could be about the game or maybe where I'm from or... Like little things, like do you have a little? Do you have a brother? My, sometimes they ask about myself. Sometimes they ask about the game. It's really random. It's really random, to be honest. It's people looking for a connection, no? It really yeah. Is. Oh, okay. Well, say goodbye. I don't want to keep you that long. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, all right. <laughs> did I miss anything? Is there anything you want to talk about that I did not address? Mm, I think we went through everything, I guess. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Uh, where can people find you online? Uh, you can find me online on Facebook. Uh, it's face fb.gg slash Nevs Gaming. Nevs as in N-E-V-Z Gaming. And you can also find me on YouTube slash Sven McCoy Schmidt. I know my name is pretty hard to pronounce or spell yeah, I'll put the link in the <laughs> yeah. Notes. yeah and also on instagram sven mccoy schmid and twitter as well sven mccoy schmid yep all right okay thanks huh i'm gonna end the broadcast <laughs> all right thank you man